you're finishing up your stud- studies at Juilliard right now, right? Mm-hmm. And so as you get, you know, prepared to really leave the school setting and start making your way towards like a career, yeah. um, which you've already been doing during your studies at Juilliard and before, mm-hmm. I, I'm curious because you were on this upper upward trajectory right and yeah but the pandemic (laughs) just like hit you from the blind side I mean hit everyone from the blind side yeah so what have you learned about yourself during this forced period of pause yeah um you know I guess the first thing I would say to that is you know, I'll be leaving Juilliard. I have that opportunity to go back for another semester in the fall, but regardless, I'm starting to think about, you know, moving out of the student mode into the professional mode. Mm -hmm. And it's actually not the first time I've done it because I freelanced for about four years, um, before between my master's at Eastman and, and going back to school at Juilliard. Oh, wow. So, so I, I think I have an interesting, I've learned a lot about the difference between being a student and being a professional and, and when your career starts and what your career means. And what I say now to, you know, undergraduates that I might go talk to or younger students, I tell them what I wish I had thought was the moment I walked in the door for my freshman year at Miami University where I was studying vocal performance. That's the start of my career. Because I think I used to think, oh, when I'm, when I am making money full time as a singer, then my career will have started. Mm. Or when I sing at such and such an opera house, or I sing such and such a role, or I win such and such a competition, then my career will have started. And it's just not true. And the pandemic, like you asked, has shed even more light on that. Um, so if all if my gigs have been canceled and I'm in a period of nothing, am I not having a career? What what is then my career? I think we've all had to like ask answer ask ourselves and answer that question. And it kind of has challenged us, especially us young artists, Mm. I think, to think about what our career is, what our career means, when our career starts, what we want from our career. I think I've, during the pandemic, I've had the chance to evaluate that, reevaluate that, um, as I think we always are um, at every juncture in in our lives and in our careers. But, yeah, that's kind of a lot to unpack what I just said. No, it is a lot of a lot to unpack but it's fascinating that you say that you wished when you walked into your first day at Miami University as an undergrad you had thought about how this is the start of the career because yeah Mm -hmm. like like you said you know I've been to music school I never had that mindset I don't think my friends had that mindset that The days that we spent at music school were a part of our career. What, where is that coming from? Where's that mindset coming from? I think it's, I think it's a mindset that I couldn't have had in in the moment and something that I can only ask people to consider in retrospect, because I think as students, especially as younger students, we have this idea that when we graduate, you know, the Met is going to call or the New York Mm. Phil is going to call And like, we're told it's probably not going to happen that way, but like, maybe it will, you know, (laughs) and then our career will start. But it is so not that simple. And Mm. if the career is, if the career is finding out what you love to do and what makes you feel like you're having an impact and using your unique gifts and your unique story and your unique platform to make an impact and an imprint on individual lives and individual communities, then that's a career. And that's something that we're doing from really the moment we pick up our instrument or start singing and mm-hmm. start playing for people. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe my career started when I was eight years old when I when I picked up the violin for the first time. I, I mean, I don't know. You know, that might be an exaggeration. Right, but right. The pandemic has shown us that it's it's not fair or practical to think of our career as artists as purely contracts and money because we didn't have any and mm-hmm. many of us still don't. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's that it's that constant balance that we face as artists 
in, in a difficult, unconventional lifestyle of pursuing what we believe in and what we want to do and just surviving and paying our rent. Right, right. No, it sounds like, um, you know, because you mentioned that at the beginning of the pandemic, artists were wrestling with the fact that they had no income, right? And this, your your take on what a career is, is, is really, um, it seems like it was gained through a hard experience, you know, something like, yeah. something like that doesn't just come from like, because it doesn't seem like it's just like a wishy-washy thing. You know what I mean? No, and I think it's also come from years of of doing things to make money that aren't being a singer. And and I, I've mm. talked to so many friends about it over the years. Like, oh, well, if I have this side hustle, then I'm not being serious about my career. And I'm not being dedicated to my career and doing what I need to do for my career. But it's like, well, no, I'm I'm doing my career, but I also need to pay my rent and like buy groceries. So I'm also going to do this thing on the right, side. Right, right. Um, yeah. I think it's it's born out of that too. Yeah. 